in the heart of the Roman Empire, where power and prestige intertwined, lived two women shrouded in whispers and scandal. Their names, Faustina, one, an empress by marriage, the other, her legacy etched in the very fabric of Rome, but behind their jeweled tiaras and flowing robes, secrets lurked. What did they truly desire? What sacrifices did they make? Join us as we unveil the lives of Faustina, the elder, and Faustina, the younger. Prepare to be captivated by a tale of intrigue, family ties, and the price of power in ancient Rome. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. Part 1. Faustina, the Elder, an Empress of Influence. Our story begins with Faustina, the Elder, born around 100 AD into a lineage steeped in Roman nobility. Her father, a distinguished consul, provided a life of privilege, far from the prying eyes of the public. Little is known about her early years, but whispers tell of a woman as brilliant as she was beautiful. Fate intervened when she met Antoninus Pius, a rising star in the Roman Senate. Though love may have bloomed, their union in 110, 115 AD was undoubtedly strategic, solidifying alliances and securing futures. Together, they became a power couple. Antoninus, a wise and respected leader, relied on Faustina's keen intellect and social graces. She, in turn, used her influence to champion education, particularly for girls, a cause rarely championed by Roman empresses. Inscriptions throughout Rome lauded her as a benefactress and a mother to the people. Her image regal and serene, adorned coins and public buildings. But tragedy struck in 140 AD. Faustina, the elder, died under mysterious circumstances. Grief-stricken, Antoninus showered her with posthumous honors. Temples rose in her name, and coins continued to be minted bearing her likeness. The whispers about the cause of her death persist. One thing remains certain. Faustina, the elder, left an indelible mark on Roman history, but her story is only half written. Join us next time as we delve into the life of Faustina the Younger, her niece and namesake, who would become an empress as controversial as she was captivating. Part 2. Faustina, the Younger, Empress under scrutiny. Faustina, the younger, born around 130 AD, stepped onto the Roman stage with a heavy legacy to bear. Niece and namesake of the influential Faustina, the elder. She grew up surrounded by the trappings of power. Little is known about her childhood, but one can imagine her upbringing steeped in lessons of politics and statesmanship. In 145 AD, destiny or perhaps political maneuvering, intervened. She married her maternal cousin, Marcus Aurelius, the heir to the throne. Their union solidified the Antonine dynasty's grip on power. Their relationship was a complex tapestry. Marcus, a stoic philosopher king, relied on Faustina's political acumen and social ease. She, in turn, thrived in the public eye, a stark contrast to her introverted husband. But whispers soon tarnished their image. Rumors of infidelity swirled around Faustina, fueled by political rivals and sensationalist writers. Separating fact from fiction is a challenge for historians even today. Many scandals may have been slander, a tool used by those who sought to undermine the Emperor's authority. Yet, Faustina was more than just a target for gossip. She actively championed charitable causes, funding public works, and advocating for women's education. However, unlike her namesake, 
public perception of Faustina, the younger was far from universally positive. While some saw her as a strong and capable empress, others viewed her with suspicion, forever tainted by the rumors. In 175 or 176 AD, Faustina's life ended. The circumstances surrounding her death remain unclear. History remembers her as a complex and controversial figure. Though her legacy within the imperial family was substantial, public opinion remained divided. Faustina, the younger's life story, reminds us that power often comes with a price. Scandal and scrutiny can overshadow even the most significant contributions. But the story of the Faustinas doesn't end here. Join us next time as we explore the lasting impact these two remarkable women had on the Roman Empire. Part 3. A tale of two Faustinas. Duality of power. Faustina. The elder and Faustina. The younger. Two women bound by name, lineage, and the burden of expectation. Yet, their lives unfolded in, in dramatically different ways. Faustina, the elder, the strategist, wielded her influence subtly. She championed social causes while remaining a pillar of support for her husband's political ambition. In contrast, Faustina, the younger, embraced the public spotlight. A shrewd politician in her own right, she faced constant scrutiny, her legacy forever marked by whispers and accusations. Yet, both women demonstrably shaped the Roman political landscape. Faustina, the elder's influence on Antoninus Pius' reign, helped usher in a golden age for the empire. Faustina, the younger, through her partnership, with Marcus Aurelius, ensured the dynasty's stability during a time of war and social unrest. Public perception, however, differed greatly. While inscriptions lauded Faustina the Elder, Faustina the Younger's legacy was tarnished by rumors. Modern historians, however, are re-evaluating these narratives. By separating fact from fiction, we see a more nuanced picture of Faustina the younger, a capable empress who navigated a complex political environment. The stories of the Faustinas remind us that power manifests in many ways. They were wives, mothers, and political players who left an undeniable mark on Roman history. Echoes of power through time. Faustina, the elder, and Faustina the younger, separated by decades, yet forever linked by their lineage and the weight of the Roman crown. One, an architect of social change. The other, a target of whispers, both undeniably shaped the Roman narrative. History remembers them in contrasting shades. A testament to the subjectivity of written records. They compel us to question, how often do we judge historical figures based on incomplete stories? Can we truly understand the past without acknowledging its complexities? Perhaps the true legacy of the Faustinas lies in reminding us to approach history with a discerning eye. By re-evaluating narratives and seeking out diverse perspectives, we gain a richer understanding of the past. We encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. What surprised you about the stories of the Faustinas? How do you think we can best interpret historical narratives like this video? Subscribe to our channel for more dramatic tales from the annals of history. The whispers of the past may fade, but the echoes of power resonate through time.